you've been following along with our current video series, you may remember a special BMW that we highlighted a while back, this one. This is the 1990 BMW E30 M3. This car came in for some paint and body work to restore it to its classic and original condition. Although it didn't need much help in that area because it's pretty much a perfect vehicle. Much like the Lamborghini Countach and the Ferrari Testarossa, this M3 was on every kid's wall back in the late 80s. The M Series was initially created to facilitate BMW's racing program. And the idea behind the first M3 was to make a racing sedan available for street legal use. Production on these vehicles was from 1986 all the way to 1991. This car was built for the track and adapted for the street. The C-pillar on this vehicle is flatter to improve aerodynamics, along with the rear wing. The windshield was even glued in place as opposed to frame, again to help with aerodynamics. It basically shares only the hood, the roof, and the inner door panels with a standard E30, and that's why this is a truly unique model. As per FIA Group A regulations, it required that at least 5,000 road legal copies of a racing car had to be sold within a 12-month period in order for a vehicle to be homologated for racing. M models are actually tested and tuned at BMW's private facility at the Nürburgring Racing Circuit in Germany. The S14 four-cylinder, 16-valve, fuel-injected, 2.3-liter naturally aspirated engine is capable of producing almost 200 horsepower. Torque came in just at 177 foot-pounds at 4,600 RPM, but they were surprisingly quick for the time. It could hit a 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds. And with a top speed north of 140 miles per hour, it was one of the best vehicles in its category. What's even more interesting is that the BMW engineers were able to make the prototype engine in just two weeks. Back then, the M and M3 was not only a trim spec, but their motorsports division. So the car, unlike the following models of the M3 series family, was mainly geared towards performance rather than comfort. This was a track to street car and not the other way around. Everything in here is intentional, thought out, and very 80s, which is what I love about it. And this car knows that it's an M3 and it doesn't need to have it plastered all over the place. Needless to say, items like the suspension, the brakes, were also modified and unique to this model. The best part about this BMW M3 was that it was only available in a five-speed stick shift transmission. So as you now know, or may have already known, the BMW M3 is a pretty special car. It essentially set the groundwork for a lot of the modern high-performance BMWs we see today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time.